Hello there everybody, so bottom nine is Wicked Iron. Welcome back to Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. Now let's jump right back into what we were doing and make ourselves a decision. Which I've actually thought about this and I did I think I've just figured out the decision that I'm going to go with. Fujine is the only one in the living room when I go get out of the bath. Tosca's shoes are still at the entrance, and I bet Saber's at the dojo. It's almost nine o'clock now. I have to go talk to Tosca. The problem is Tosca. It's getting late, so I have to get her to go home. Who's that? Tosaka Shiranaika. Tosaka Sandara, Nivani de Tate Tamitayo. So you ba. Does she mean the shed? But why would she have any business there? Checking your magic workshop, I guess. The winter air cools down my warm body. I can't see the stars because of the clouds, and there is snow all over the grass. Checking your magic workshop, I assume. I go through the yard, shivering. I consider buying a coat while I make my way over to the shed. Hello! What are you doing? She's suspicious. She acts so suspiciously that I'm starting to get curious. Oh shit. She didn't find my porn, did she? おかしいな。外から鍵かけてたはずなんだけど。それこそ冤罪よ。そもそもその音ボロ、内側にしか鍵ないじゃない。Are we really having a discussion about doors that are locked on the inside or locked on the outside? I thought this was fate stay night. What the fuck? How did it turn into a Mineko? うん、そうそう。どうぞはいつも開けっぱなしで、中からじゃないと鍵はかけられない。で my question remains. <laughs> she bites her lip. I'm beginning to understand that Tosca is really weak against surprise attacks coming from unexpected places. I urge Tosca to go back to the house. Then... Hmm? Tosca glares at me as if challenging me. I ready myself at the sudden change of atmosphere. Tosca narrows her eyes after seeing my reaction. ちょっと待て。うん。それ投影魔術の話なのか。そうよ。土蔵に転がってた中身のない複製品の話。あれがどれくらい馬鹿げたことか。エミヤ君にはわからないでしょうね。手順や略式もなし。教科の延長で投影
そんなの当たり前じゃないエミヤ君には修行あるのみよけどそうね今すぐに戦力アップを図るなら少し手順を変えてあげるだけであっさり使い物になるかもしれない Where did that anger go? Tuska starts to ponder seriously. Huh? Well, obviously. そりゃ、いちいちもっともなんだが、昨日のは偶然だ。もう一度やれって言われても多分できない。それが犯人前だって言うの。できた以上は偶然だろうが必然だろうがものにしなさい。大体あんたのは偶然なんかじゃない。私
After saying something dangerous, Tosca opens the sliding door. The cold air comes in. Maybe this porch is special, as it's only a bit chilly. It's just like that night five years ago. This porch is warm enough to be able to sit down and watch the moon even during wintertime. Tosca murmurs while sitting at the porch, staring into the yard. Sure. I sit next to her silently. She said she wants to talk, but she doesn't say anything. I can't do anything else, so I stare at the yard absent-mindedly. I can't see the moon. My breath is white, probably because it snowed earlier. When I look to my side, Tosca is staring at the yard with white breath as well. I can touch her shoulder if I move a bit. I'm not disturbed by that fact. Is it because I'm getting used to it, or because of the winter night? Tosca is so close to me, but I feel so calm. I ask her, feeling that she's waiting for that question. そのしっと I forgot what the name of the soundtrack was, but I always did like, like, whenever it came on, I always just found, I really just liked this soundtrack. I wonder what... こういう<笑><笑> No, you were being incredibly blunt. She sighs and hangs her head. Her sigh is white and slowly melts into the cold night. Seeing her face makes me remember. The Red School. Tosca didn't say anything when she saw the unconscious students. In spite of her shaking knees, she bit her lip and acted firm as usual. I realized at that time that she might be killing her true self by acting like a perfect magus. I get uneasy, so I ask. さっきも言ったでしょ。私生まれつき。Excuse me if I can't help but worry. She simply says so. There's no bluff nor lie in her statement and Tosca is smiling. Soka. 
学校に行っても無意味なんじゃないか無意味とまではいかないけど寄り道でしょうねけど無駄じゃないわよ学生って楽しいもの私ね基本的に快楽主義者なの父さんの後を継ぐのは義務だけどそれだって自分が楽しくなければやらないわふんマスターになったのだって自分の力を試したいからだしエミヤ君と協力してるのだってあなたが面白いからだし Should I take that as a compliment or should I take that as an insult considering it's coming from you? Ignoring the comment that I'm funny, my worries disappear. A family of magi. I thought Tosca was carrying a dark shadow because she's bound by a heavy history and bloodline. But that was just my prejudice. The Tosca family is not a burden on her, and she's done what she wanted up to now. でもちろんそういうエミヤ君も楽しかったんでしょそうでもなければ魔術の修行なんて続かないものねトスカ says so as if it's natural but I can't nod back ちょっとどうして黙るのよエミヤ君のお父さんは強制しなかったんでしょそれでも続けたってことは魔術が楽しかったからじゃないのいや。私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私 I didn't think it was tough, but I didn't think it was fun. Matta, Chant to Kotaite, Emiaku. But I see, Ton de Monai Kanchiga Yosteta Kamusire Naikara. Tosca glares at me seriously. Crap. I have to answer her if she makes a face like that. So, Dana. Majuts no Shigo, Tanoshito Motta Kotta Nakata. Majuts no Shigo, Majuts Sonomono, Tanoshito Motta Kotta Nai. けど、俺は周りが幸せならそれで嬉しかったんだだからその魔術を習っておけばいつか誰かのためになれるかなって俺は切り継ぐのような正義の味方になりたかったそのために魔術を習ってきたとまあ俺の理由なんてそんなもんだけどじゃあ何あんた自分のために魔術を習ったんじゃないのえあいや自分のためじゃないのかこれって誰かのためになれれば俺だって嬉しいんだからあのねそれは嬉しいんであって楽しくはないのいい私が言ってるのはエミヤ君自身が楽しめることよ周りはどうこうじゃなくて自分から楽しいと思えることはないのかって聞いてるの Tosca roars out. Even if she says so, I can't answer what I don't know. I can't think of anything that's fun for me, and most of all. I'm not qualified to have such a wish. She suddenly stands up and points at me. Your finger. No, your nail is touching my nose. Um, talking about Archer? Rejecting my protest, Tosca closes in on me even more. それがわからないやつだから頭に来てるの<笑>もうどうして誰も一言言ってやらないのよ She shakes her fist I'll have to stay silent for now I'll stay quiet until Tosca's anger goes away So after venting for a while <笑>いいわ
決めた明日あんたに参ったって言わせてやるから Wait, what? She says so as, as if smacking me with a glove. So, that fight, of course, is when she chased me around the school. I was cornered and had to surrender, but the match wasn't settled because of Ryder's inter interruption. So, you know, goody! Tosca psychs herself up before walking off into the living room. Hmm. I don't know what's going to happen. Neither do I, dude! So, should I be ready for anything? Probably if she's gonna do another Gondor shot on you. Anyway, I have to take Tosca home. It's almost 10 o'clock. I don't know what Fujine will say if I keep a girl at my place for so long. Fujine is watching me with blank amazement. That's weird. Fujine should approve right away, but she doesn't seem to be in a hurry. Oh boy. え、今何かおかしなこと言わなかったか。まあ、おかしなこと言ってるのはシロでしょ。今日はもう遅いから、父坂さんを止めるんでしょ父坂さん、さっきそう言いに来たけど。止まるって父坂が。そうよ。あ
I'm imitating his twin swords, his sword technique, and now even his breathing. I can't help but feel self-hatred. Emiya Shiro's skills improve just by imitating him. I know it's not my own power, but I have to rely on it. It was because of his techniques that I was able to fight off those bone creatures at school. And it was because of his projected swords that I was able to fend off Kuzuki's attacks. Even now. I know that I can reproduce those swords if I seriously follow the manufacturing process. Not trace on, sympathy start, but trace on, projection start. The words are still the same. There's no need to change the spell if it still works on me. First of all, I only know and can use one spell to exchange myself. I put down the strengthened wooden sword. The left side of my body is still numb. I was optimistic that it would heal if I rested today, but it wasn't that convenient. If this is the compensation for magic above my level, duplicating Archer's twin swords, I might destroy myself if I project one more time. I remove the nerve inside my spine. My body is free of the poison called the magic circuit, and tension escapes my body. Then... Hello, Saber. Saber quietly comes inside. I must be relaxed, done with my daily routine. My voice is surprisingly gentle. I answer her smile with a smile. Saber agrees and sits next to me. ま、楽しむ時は思いっきり楽しむんだ。なんて言って子供みたいにはしゃいでたし。あれで僕は魔法使いなんだ。なんて言われても信じられないって普通。I can tell that I'm smiling as I tell the story about my past. The 5 years between the time of the fire and Kiritsugu's death. Come to think of it, that might have been the best time of my life. なるほど。ええ。同時にあらゆる厄介事のもとでした。彼のいたずら好きさえなければ、もう少しまともな時代になったでしょう。なんかすごいな、その言い方。まるで希代の悪人みたいじゃないか。悪人でした。加えてその色ごとに弱いというか
Huh? Wait, I thought her previous master was Kiritsugu, though. Is she stunned or smiling? Saber talks about her past and swallows her words a bit. And after a brief silence... Shiro. Okay, she's noticed. She questions me with straight eyes about what I didn't want her to know. Yeah, you guessed correctly. I explained to her how it felt weird from this morning, how it's not affecting my movements, and how it's probably... or, or it's probably the feedback from last night's projection magic. Saber looks at me with uneasy eyes. When I try to smile back to her, telling her it's alright. <laughs> What the hell? Oh. Hello there, Archer. Um, the knight in red is standing at the door. Saber jumps up as if to protect me. To her, he's an enemy that assaulted me. And he's an enemy to me as well. Yeah, he certainly left one hell of an impression on me. Those words he had said before he slashed me would not get out of my head. Archer does not answer, but takes another step. Saber's enemy turns into an intent to kill. Yeah. I push Saber aside and confront Archer. I still don't like him. Our mentalities are different, but more than that, I just can't deal with him. I feel a chill running up my spine the instant I see him. I bet he falls into the category of natural enemy. Oddly specific. I gasp. Archer's comment is so accurate that it's scary. What? Archer reaches out. Archer. <laughs> I take my top off and show him my back. Archer silently places his hand on my back. I feel a small pain. Sensation. I feel heat on the numb left side of my body as if needles are picking at it. Isn't necrosis the rapid decaying of flesh? Or am I thinking of something completely different? そうだ。お前は勘違いをしているようだがな。魔術回路とは作るものではなく表面に出すか出さないかのものでしかない。そのような勘違いをしているから。
お前の麻痺は一時的なものだ今まであったというのに使われていなかったカイロに全開で魔力を通した結果カイロそのものが驚いている状態だろうああだが何にせよ放棄されていた区画に風が通ったのだいずれ神経は通常の機能を思い出すし放棄されていたカイロはこれで現役に戻ったということだああオーケー The needles poke my back again I feel a definite thumping from my numb body こんなところか体が動く頃には以前よりはマシな魔術師になっているだろう何にせよ俺の刀を作るなど初めにしては欲張りすぎだ。アーチャー、レッツゴー。では、シロの体に異常はないと。今までが異常だったのだ。あや、異常を眠らせたまま終わるのが正常な人間のせいだ。その点で言えば、エミア・シロはすでに異常だが。<笑>まあいい。ともあれ。明日一日は魔術を使おうと思うなよ。治りかけた神経が焼き付いたら、麻痺ではすまん。詳しいのですね、アーチャー。Incredibly knowledgeable, actually。似たような経験があってな。私も初めは片腕を持っていかれた。新しい魔術を身につけるとは、そういうことだ。You had one of your arms taken away when you did it the first. Damn, who the hell are you? He, turn he turns and tries to leave. I stop him. I want to know why he helped me now, after trying to kill me before. Nanda Saber in Tanomi Konda. It's the end of Suzuki de Mosurit Morica. Son Nagoto Suruka Tada Kikitai Dakada. Oh, my guy, he's staying at the Serifuna. Don't know him in a no capella. Drown in your ideals and die. The meaning of it. The uneasiness in my brain won't go away unless I hear it out from him. There's no hesitation. Arch declares seriously. That pisses me off so much that my whole vision turns white. サーバントはみんな自分の目的があるんだろうならお前の戦う意義ってなんだ理想がないお前は何のために戦うんだ OK、so from little context clues it sounds like、um... Shiro seems to be doing something that Archer once did in his past life or from the I guess from whatever tale he's from And I'm guessing Archer, in his own way, is trying to make Shiro stop, I guess, before he makes some sort of mistake, or maybe? I don't know, maybe I'm reading a little too into that. ただ、おのが欲望の成就のため。それ以外に理由などない。自分の。自分のためだけだと。So right there, that kind of sounds like a polar opposite. Like, Shiro fights for other people, not himself. Archer's the polar opposite. He fights for himself. そうだ。お前の欲望が。誰も傷つけないという理想であるのなら好きにするがいいそんなに他人を救いたければ救えばよかろうただしそれが本当にお前自身の欲望ならばな My mind freezes What did he just say? 自分の意志で戦うのならばその罪も罰もすべて自分が生み出したもの。背負うことすら理想のうちだ。だが、それが借り物の意志であるなら
お前の唱える理想は空想に落ちるだろう In a word, it is a fake. t a t a k a には理由がいる。だがそれは理想であってはならない。理想のために戦うのなら、救えるのは理想だけだ。そこに人を助ける道はない。I can't talk. I can't think of any objections. Archer's words pierce my heart like arrows. But it goes the same for Saber as well. I can't speak. Something. I have to say he's wrong. So why? Dakara Muin and the Omai no Risova. Tuscany. Dareka was screwed out of you, Omai no Nozomiwa. Tasse de Kildaro. Considering Shiro tends to put himself in harm's way more than anything, so. I deeply apologize for interrupting you. No, that's. He turns his red back to us and leaves. I can't think of anything to say. The darkness falls. We cannot look at one another and just stare at the back of the guy who is no longer there. Witchcraft. Hmm. Oh. What did I wish for? And why? There were people that were not saved. And there was me, who could not save them. That should be the reason. What happened after that? And what did I want to become? I remember the gray sky. A dark sky on the verge of crying. There, my will to fight for survival almost disappears. One only dies when the will fades away. Leaving behind many people, I survived a few minutes longer than everyone. In the process, lots of things died. That's why it was almost empty. If the wish to stay alive dies, everything disappears. If you have nothing, all that remains is to die. And I died. Thinking got difficult, and I closed my eyes. And right before everything turned black, my outstretched hand was grabbed by someone. That was everything. Everything disappeared. There was nothing. So I only had that one thing. I admired it severely since I could not do it. That's right. I hope to be of help to many people in place of all those I could not save. But he said it is all false. A borrowed ideal. Salvation like a coin passed from hand to hand. A thankless end. What did I want to become? And why? <laughs> It's not me that said that, but. I wake up. The light flowing in is bright, 
telling me it's sunny today, unlike yesterday. I don't know if it's because of what happened last night, but I don't feel good at my awakening. I must have had a bad nightmare, as my temples are throbbing in pain. Even though it's still 6.30, the sky is clear blue. It's warm for winter, and the snow is all gone. My sleepiness goes away once I wash my face and brush my teeth. I can prepare breakfast later than usual, so... I'm sorry. And we can eat slowly as well. There's no one in the living room. Well, I'll prepare breakfast. Even though it's Sunday, there are four people this morning. I should start preparing... Hmm? I bought a loaf yesterday, but it's gone along with the bag. <laughs> I've never encountered such a crime. The first suspect, Fujine, wouldn't do such an elaborate thing. Then there's only one other culprit. Well, what should I do? I don't really care about the bread, but there is one extra person that'll be eating this morning. Oh, hello. Um... I'll just make Japanese food. Actually, I'll take it out on the culprit. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, shit! 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 I, uh, I forgot to save! Oh, I forgot to freaking save! Uh, well, I can at least skip to that next choice next time. I forgot to freaking save before the choice. Ah! Uh, ah. Everybody in the comments has every, pretty much every right to say, Oh my god, you're an idiot! Uh, the problem at hand is how to deal with the intruder that attacked the kitchen last night. There's no reply even after knocking on the guest room door. It's almost seven. Leaving Fujine aside for the moment, it should be impossible for Tosca, an honor student, not to be up at this moment time. Tosaka! Tosaka! That's strange. There's no reply, so is she gone? I get a bit worried. It's not like she went out by herself and never returned, right? I'll... Hmm. No, not load. I'll save you right there, that way I can leave that spot specifically for that one. Okay, I'll look inside. I'll look inside. I have to find out where the bread went, and I'll have to go look for her if Tosca's not in her room. I go in nervously. Uh, I ask in a whisper, but there's no reply. Hmm? The guest room is the same as always. There's nothing strange here. The only thing here is a mysterious rectangular object on the table. The length and width are about 15 centimeters, and it's 6 centimeters tall. It's made of plastic, and it looks like a lunchbox. There's three of them. I have no idea what it's used for or why. I reach out, curious. Then, I hear a sound behind me. Okay. Nah, she's just sleeping. The faint sound of breathing. It twists its body and faces in my direction, perhaps because of the bright sunlight. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. All thoughts vanish in an instant. Just get out of there, man, get out! My mind turns white. My breathing stops instantly and I can't look away. She's gonna wake up, you dumbass! My throat gulps. I don't think I'll... I don't think it'll be bad if I make a sound. 
If you're talking about loud, my heart is loud. It's pounding like mad. If I have to make a comparison, it's as loud as a train. No, calm down. Calm down, calm down. I can't afford a mistake. I have to leave this room quietly, as if nothing has happened. If I wish for our future cooperation to continue peacefully, I'll probably be killed if Tosca wakes up right now. And, um, I won't be able to cooperate with her if I keep watching Tosca. <laughs> My body jumps. Tosca's still asleep. She must be well off in her dreams as it looks like she'll continue to sleep on. I sigh and slowly retreat. All the while, I know I shouldn't be watching, but my eyes will not move away from Tosca. Yeah, totally not creeper stuff, I don't know. A girl is there sleeping. Tosca's a girl, and it makes me forget that she's a magus and a master. Her breath in her disordered pajamas. This is so heinously destructive. And creepy. This is almost unfair. <laughs> If I see such a thing, I won't be able to talk to her naturally like I've been doing up to now. Okay, so I, I done goofed getting in here. Get out of there! A defenseless sleeping face. I slowly retreat to the door, not being able to look away from her. How long did it take me? The two meters were infinitely long, and I slide out to the hallway with an almost exploding heart. <sighs> risky, risky maneuver, bro. And I take a deep breath. Creepy again. I release the breath I held for so long. My knees give way and I fall onto the floor. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have looked in there. Well, it's all my fault. It's my fault, but shouldn't extenuating circumstances be taken into consideration? <sighs> As I murmur, fatigue assails me. <sighs> Well, anyway, I'm glad I got up before I died of lack of oxygen. Still kind of creepy what you were doing there. I decided to go cook breakfast. It'll be killing two birds with one stone, because making breakfast will calm down my mind and Tosca will be happy if it tastes good. Seba. <laughs> I greet her while I peel some potatoes. え、望むところです。では、それは良かった。マスターが傷を負ったままでは私も立つ瀬がない。シロが takes a seat in her usual position beside the table. It's 8:30. Fujine and Tosca are sleeping in, but I can't complain today. そうだよな。おかげでようやく忘れてきたし。Tosca's sleeping face is being replaced with potatoes and onions. Should be fine even if Tosca comes. I'd be able to deal with her like all <laughs> I freeze. <laughs> uh, I'm so scared that I can't turn to the living room. Tosca answers Saber as she goes into the living room. This is a crucial moment. Calm down, calm down. It's easy, I just have to prepare tea for the three of us and greet her as I go see her. I put the cups on a tray and take one final deep breath. I go out from the kitchen into the living room. I put the tray on the table. <laughs> I greet her in an uncompre incomprehensible way and raise my head. My breath stops. Tosca is wearing something unfamiliar again. Calm down. It's alright. I saw her in normal clothes yesterday. I should have some resistance. Smooth. I put the cups in front of Saber and Tosca. Then, 
何のんびりしてるのよ今日は出かけるんだから早く用意しなさい Tosuke glares at me as if breakfast can come later はえっと出かけるってどこに隣町までよ本当は遠出したいけどさすがにそこまでの余裕はないでしょだから妥協案ってことで Is this some sort of new surprise attack? I don't get what Tosca wants. Incoming reaction in three, two, one. Oh, never mind. She, she declares naturally. After tilting my head in wonder. Wait. Th th this is how you're gonna do that? I feel dizzy. I want to say something back, but Tosca is standing so majestically that I can't object. いいから行くわよどうせこんなことだろうと思ってたしお弁当作っておいたからはいシロはこのトートバッグを持ってついてくる She hands me a green tote bag and leaves the living room I stare after her dumbfounded シロリンの後を追わなくていいのですかあ,あ,あちょっと待て父さんが <laughs> I quickly start running. I hear another set of footsteps. Saber is following me. But, freaking horror. Not that carefree at all. She doesn't hear me out and it seems determined that we're going on a date. そういう気分だから別に構わないでしょどうせ昼間は何もしないんだし今更逃げるなんて言わせないわよ確かに構わないだろうけどほらそうだアーチャーはどうするんだよあいつだって反対だろうこういうの Honestly, it'd be freaking hilarious if he wasn't against it アーチャーは置いてきたわ今頃私の家で寝てるんじゃないかしら Oh god, I'm just trying to imagine Archer like one of those like the one of those freaking strict parents. I told you not to date this guy. <laughs> I can't beat her. I can't talk to Tosca down by myself. If anyone can stop her, um Defeated. All my cards are trumped in just one sentence. There's no time to be confused. Tuska grabs my hand and runs out the door. I guess I have to give up. Tuska's so energetic that I don't think I can beat her. And I'm sure she'll defeat me in an argument even if I say something. And I don't know why, but Saber is following us without complaint. Oh, that's good. Um, see, it's really sunny today. And that's where I'm going to end the episode. So, first off, I'm going to apologize for not actually leaving a save spot down to that freaking, um, other choice. So, what I probably going to do while this video is pro finished processing or something like that I'm gonna kind of go back to my previous save skip down and then immediately save my save like a spot for that choice anyway let's see me let's see me give it a thought it's my I'm sorry I had a mild stroke there trying to speak so trying to speak English oh my god I can't freaking English right now what the hell's wrong with me anyway so let's see some thoughts here one, I am enjoying the interactions between Shiro and Tosca. They're much more 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just imagining it, but it seems like it's more prevalent in this one. I mean, again, when he, again, I was told that each of these routes was kind of like a specific individual, and I'm believing that this is the Tosca route, which makes kind of sense because whenever I look down at the little icon uh, on my desktop, it is Tosca's face. Hmm. And the previous one was uh, Sabers, but um, just gonna say I I I I'm enjoying. The reaction, the interactions between um, Shiro and Tosca, and again, while Shiro doesn't seem to like Archer, I do like how Archer seems like he he obviously knows more than he's letting on. Like, I don't know. And it's funny because I I do want to learn more about Archer because it kind of sucked that we didn't get to see him all that much in the first route. I mean, really, the only one of the coolest things I learned about him was that he was able to take down freaking Berserker, what, five, six times by himself? Like, holy shit, he's a freaking badass. And like I said, I'm glad that this route's kind of uh, delving more into Archer and Tosca, too, actually. Um, hopefully... <laughs> I really don't want to see this route end up having a moment where Tosca's covered in blood or anything like that, because that was a very hard scene for me to see, just kind of see her like that in the first route. But, mm. one of the things that I am kind of con confused about is Saber mentioning her previous, uh, a previous Magus, saying that he was an ancient man talking about love and all that, and I thought, and, I, okay, this, seem, this seems very inconsistent, because I was under the assumption that uh, Saber's original first master was um, Kiritsugu, or, I don't, I don't, I don't know, or maybe she's just kind of talking about Kiritsugu in that sort of sense, but ancient? Really? I don't know. Or maybe she's talking about the uh, Magus that was um, with her whenever she, as obviously ours, Archuria, she drew the sword of Excalibur. So maybe Merlin? Possibly? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I am a little bit concerned, though. We haven't heard much about Shinji at the moment, and I'm kind of, I'm concerned about what that that asshole's got in pl got planned. Because last time, oh, I only just now realized, uh, this is the dating time. I've got a very sick feeling that freaking Gilgamesh is gonna show up again. Last time it was me and freaking. Saber on a date, and then Gilgamesh showed up. I really don't... I, I hate that guy. I really don't want to see him again. I mean, it was satisfying him just seeing him freaking get... What's the word? Bisected? Well, cut in half. But... Mostly, I'm just worried about what Shinji and Gilgamesh have planned. Well... On a more positive note, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more um, Shiro and Tosca interactions. Honestly, like don't get me don't, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I like Saber. I liked Saber in the first round. I liked like some of the interactions with her, which kind of brings me up to my second point. I do like how Shiro is kind of treating Saber this time in the in this route. I like the way that Shiro is treating her this time. The first time just kind of ir the first route really. I admit, it, I admit it really irritated me quite a bit. Just cause, well, dude, she's a freaking badass for crying out loud. I mean, okay. Obviously, yeah, you saw her get like mortally wounded like that, and I don't know. Again, it's his perception of Saber is a lot. I, I like it a lot more in this route, honestly. Cause it still it feels like more. He's not really holding her back anymore, and I kind of like it that way. Hmm. I mean, not that, not, that there's, not that there's anything wrong with the first route, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. 
Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say right now. Um, if you guys liked it, be sure to let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.